All right, DeSoto County. Um, we have not previously added DeSoto okay. County to the zip code breakdown. One of the reasons why is Mississippi, the state of Mississippi, is a non-disclosure state. It is not easy to get any information out of the state of Mississippi in a bulk form like we're getting from Chandler yeah. reports. Non-disclosure just means that it is it, legally the, the buyers and sellers don't have to disclose sales prices. That's exactly right. And so there's, so there's only like maybe data. five or six states in the country. Unfortunately, Mississippi's one of them. Yeah, yeah. Back we're, we're as a as a Mississippi resident, I will admit to being way behind everything. Yeah, not just this, but every single thing that you can be behind in the state of Mississippi's behind it. <laughs> yeah, everything. Yeah. Uh, so I will talk about DeSoto County positively, though, from an yeah. investor standpoint, um, because there's so many opportunity. Horn Lake, I believe is still on the top 10 or 15 cities growth and cities in the country. Okay. Uh, the jobs that are down there, I'll oh, give you man. some examples. I was working with investors in 2009, 10 and 11, a little bit, uh, working on with another guy and I would get on the MLS and I would search zero to $50,000 and I would have any, and this is in Horn Lake, I would have anywhere from 15 to 30 options to choose from, right? Twin Lakes and uh, DeSoto Village is the, are the two yep. big main subdivisions down there. I'd have that. You can't find one house listed under $100,000 now. There's not one. There's not anything down there for it. And there's still plenty of room to go. These are brick homes. They're near the city. It's a working class area. All up and down Goodman and Horn Lake, they're putting up uh, uh chain restaurants, yep. Walmarts, everything that you can imagine in Horn Lake is going up. Tenant base has been historically a little while, but over the last five to 10 years, I believe has settling, in. settling yep. a little bit Yep. Um, because of the price points, you're getting a little bit different owner. You're getting a little bit different tenant. Um, I'm super wild on Horn Lake. I'll take whatever we can find in Horn Lake um, I think the yeah. appreciation number is still going to continue yeah. to climb in Horn Lake. I mean, you got to think when I, I just gave that example of 10 years ago, right? I was 40, I'm, I kid no, you not. I, 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 so if I, I had I the where picked I picked up I, a couple. This is, yeah, this is where I'm, I'm wanting to shoot myself for not yep. understanding what I was doing, but you were getting $40,000 houses that needed 10 grand worth of work that you could rent for $800. Now they're renting for 1200. Now they're renting for 12 and $1,300 and you yeah. can get them for 110, 120 grand. So, um, really yes. excited about what Horn Lake has to offer. If you yeah. can find anything in Horn Lake, take it. And, and it's again, it's just a hop, skip and a jump up to Memphis. It's up I 55. You got Goodman road. You're not far from stuff that happened in South Haven. You're not, far from stuff that's happening in Hernando. Yeah. It's a nice location. Nice location, and it's on the national radar. So yeah. um, a lot of positive things happening yep. for Horn Lake. Rents are going to go from 700 to 1600 Close to $1,500, $1,500, $1,500. Yeah, yeah, I'm with right, you. right in that ballpark. Yep. Uh, let's move west. No, let's Back move east, east to, to South, South Haven. Haven. Uh, South Haven, Mississippi has two zip codes, 3671, 3672. Um, one of these sections, if you're looking at a map, highway 55 is going to go right down it on the Western portion. That's closer to Horn Lake. You can find some really, really solid rental homes. I just mm -hmm. bought my first one down there on Cedar brush. Mm -hmm. I'm over the top excited about it. Cause we've been trying to find something down in there. It's difficult. People yes. want to be in, yes. in this area, uh, South Haven circle. There's a whole group of rental properties yeah. there off of highway 51. Uh -huh. All right. So you can get anything you want to over there, all the shopping, all the stuff that you're looking for. Uh, you're going to be in that hundred thousand ish price range, 120, but those are going to rent for 13 to 1500. Yeah. They're going to work at FedEx. They're going to keep quiet. There's not, they're going to take care of their yard. It's just going to be a solid rental pocket. Now, you come down 51 and you go west on Goodman, east on Goodman Road. I don't know why I keep getting that mixed up. East on Goodman Road, you cross over 55. Uh -huh. You're going to start getting into a lot nicer areas. Very okay? high area. End. Greenbrook Parkway area is going to mm -hmm. have some nice older homes. You keep going on Goodman and you're going to start getting into higher end real estate that may or may not make sense from a rental standpoint. Yeah. If you get to get well, Chick-fil-A, Whataburger, Kroger, Starbucks, all the yeah, silo National square yep, yep. that we talked about. They've yep. got a, 
our uh, central barbecue coming down there. There's yeah. Mexican restaurants. There's yeah. all kinds of boutiques and different Retail. stuff. Yeah, it's the, re- developed. It's nice. I mean, it, it, it's Snowden Grove is a huge. Yeah. They got an eight thousand seat amphitheater. Yeah. Uh, there's a. My kids just got done with the summer league baseball. Circuit. Oh yeah, yeah. All that those <laughs> fields. Fifteen and, or twenty yep. baseball fields. You know, I'm I'm pointing this way because right. Not yeah, yeah. So I I live in DeSoto County. Yeah. Um, Several uh, folks we work with yeah, live in DeSoto County. A little County. further it's south nice. from from South Haven, but it's a. Uh, we shop up there. We go eat up there. It's great. It's nice. So if you can make something, some sense out of South Haven um, yeah. and that area of it, please do. Uh, I'll always say go for that. Uh, lastly is Olive Branch. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can maybe touch Hernando, but last is Olive Branch. Um, higher end than all of these. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be harder to make that make sense. Yeah. But you can still find it. Um, yeah. Hedge fund dominant in Olive Branch, yes. to be honest with you. There are a whole lot of bill to rent. Yep. Um, you're probably in that 300 and up price point. Uh, there are some pockets of it that are a little bit, you know, lower end, but look, you just got to proceed with caution with some of that, but the higher end real estate and all the branches there, uh, FedEx employees are live there. You get up highway 78, you can get right into the city real quick. Yep. You can go up to Germantown out to Collierville. Yep. You can go down 78 it, and get to the to, Tupelo, you, just that whole other Ole region. Miss, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great, Great community, all God's Ranch. country yeah. down there. In yeah, 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 man, it is. It's a, all of all of Desoto County, the top of Mississippi, Desoto <laughs> County. That's what they say. They put a sign. I was just. I see that. The top of Mississippi. I like that. So, I I just to wrap up, um, Desoto County. Uh, anything that you can find there, really, that makes sense from a rental standpoint, I'm going to say yes. Let's let's go after it. I mean, yes. it's going to stay solid. It's going to continue yeah. to grow and appreciate. Taxes are uh, real estate taxes are more affordable. Yeah, it, it's you, you have to pay personal income tax if you have rentals in there. Yeah, in Tennessee, you don't. So yeah. there's so a couple of things to watch out and know and mind for. But pound for pound, it's a great investment That's if right. you can find it. That's the hardest one to find. Yeah, absolutely. Finding an opportunity. Are right, anything else in Desoto County? Oh, I love Desoto County. That's it. Yeah.